What's up everyone, Sage here, back with another Bleeding Edge how-to guide, and this one we're going to be going over Makuru, so let's get straight to it. So, his attacks is melee. One thing I want to say about Makuro's attacking is that he has two special attacks hidden inside his normal attack. So, if you press and hold X, you can do a rapid fire attack, and that's him when he like starts fanning his hand, and he just rapid fires on one player. And then he does have another one, which is like an uppercut. While you're attacking on your last one, press and hold X and he will do a giant uppercut in the air. And then you can use that to combo down with a slam or combo with an air attack. So those are two hidden attacks that he does have. And then his passive is toggle stance. It's going to be where you could change from your regeneration to your um, speed boost. So it's called aura stance, constantly regenerate health. And PK stance is um, increased movement speed. So that's his passive going over to his specials barge charge into enemies dealing damage and carry them away enemies charge into a wall are stunned and then leg it and slash healthy pick a stance cleanse movement impairing effects and provide a speed boost to self and nearby allies and then aura stance heal yourself and surrounding allies and then repellent create a burst of energy that pushes enemies away and then going over to his supers catamore roll into a ball and barrel through enemies knocking them away and then can't touch us make yourself and nearby allies invulnerable for a short time so makuru the way you want to use him is you want to stay around your team but he's a weird kind of tank because you want to kind of take the attention off your teammates onto you at all times and that's really what you want to do you want to always try to grab the enemy team's attention and you want to play around that way so you're supposed to grab their attention run around staying in the fight with your pk stance or your aura stance depending on which one you need at that time or wherever you need it and that's really how you want to use him always you want to always try to take the attention and you always want to play around with him that way and then if um say if your um teammates getting pushed or anything that's where it comes to his first ability where you would want to use his barge his barge he can slam into an enemy and pick him up and drag him away with you and you can use this to do cool plays like knocking enemies into the electricity or knocking them into the train and you know canceling it to jump off and you could do a lot of crazy things with his barge that can make you get some really highlight plays and he's a very good tank but he is the most difficult tank i will easily say that because he's not just strictly damaged like el bastardo and he's not just strictly defensive but he is one of those tanks that you really have to just take the enemy's attention and you want to play around with him that way you always want to try to have the attention on you at all times and if your team is really just getting pushed that's when you would go to start helping your teammates and stuff but his next one after barge would be his legate and his healthy legate and healthy does apply to your teammates as well so when you do activate it your team will get the speed increase and or the healing and he can also help with the healing because of the aura stance and it's pretty decent it's not too great but it's pretty decent to where you can actually help out the the support characters and help them get some healing around for your teammates so he's a well-rounded tank when it comes to things like this where he can actually help you heal your teammates and then that's when you really want to just go around and start taking back the attention from off your team that way you can have the time to you know recover your hp or try to escape so you really just gotta just play like really in the enemy team's face at all times and you always have to remember that now if there are times where you do have to get away do not be one of those tanks that oh you think you just cannot lose you just run around in their face the whole time no sometimes you really have to get away and you really have to play that pick a stance at that time so you got to remember to get away at the right times now repellent repellent you can more likely use it to save yourself if needed because repellent will push the enemies off of you that is when you are needed to escape and get away from the fight or you can use the repellent to help push them off your teammate like a support player or you could push them into like i said a train again any kind of hazard you could just push them into it with the propellant because it just knocks them away they can't really do anything against it it's just a giant like wave that blows the enemy team off of you so it's just really good to use to escape you really want to use this most of the time to escape because this is how you're going to get away with mokoto and that's just really how you want to use this ability 
now his supers catamore now this is to just help your team strictly because it does not drop that much damage it's just to help mess up the enemy team similar to something like um hammond where you want to just knock them around you know disrupt the enemy team just mess them up like mix them up a lot so your team could either get away get an advantage in the fight anything somewhat like that that's what you will want to use catamore for but this is not his meta ultimate his meta ultimate is can't touch us can't touch us is easily his meta ultimate because it makes you and all your allies invulnerable for a short time and you guys will really just be sitting there taking all damage you will not drop at all it is very powerful this ultimate is so powerful that is literally one of the most powerful tank ultimates in the game just due to the fact that your team is just invulnerable for a short time you guys will literally be taking nothing it is so powerful and you can easily use this to just catch straight w's in every fight that you're in if you have it so it's just anytime you have this ultimate you just have to remember if you pop this ultimate you guys can easily win the fight your team should not be dropping if you have this ultimate because you have to use it to save your entire team and it will go on everyone within your area so this is very powerful and you have to use this correctly do not waste this ultimate because this is such a powerful ultimate it could literally turn around an entire fight so just always remember to save this ultimate this ultimate is just so powerful and it is a great ultimate i would not recommend using catamore this is easily just the best ultimate he has and this is probably one of the best things that he has but other from that makoto he is a very difficult tank to get the hang of i do recommend practicing him first do not just use him when rank play comes in if you're not used to him um you have to really practice this character he's not someone you, you just pick up and just run into the game you know just catch w's because he's just built so weirdly like he can't dash he can't really do anything like that he has to just be there because he's just so big and tanky so you just have to know how to use him and how to position yourself he is a weird tank as i say again so just remember that but that's really it for makuru he is a difficult tank again and that's really it for this video. If you guys want to catch more videos like this and more, please hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on those notifications so you won't miss a video. And we are almost at our sub goal. And we would appreciate if you would spread our channel to your friends and family. That way you could help us out even more. But with all that, it's been Sage. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. <laughs>